Our story begins on another planet far, far away called Mobius. A peaceful and fun planet to live on. Filled with loops, rings, and the bouncy spring pads, surely nothing will ever go bad, right? Well, the answer to that is unfortunately yes. The once peaceful Mobius would be turned into a toxic wasteland full of killer robots called Badniks. All of this caused by one man known as Dr. Julian Robotnik, a psychotic and evil genius who plans to not only conquer Mobius, but the rest of the universe. But there is one blue glimmer of hope. He's blue, he's fast, he's cool, and a hedgehog with attitude. He's Sonic the Hedgehog. Correcto, narrato. And with my supersonic speed and supersonic spin, Dr. Robotnik and his baddies don't stand a chance. One day after finally defeating Robotnik, rescuing all his pals, and destroying Robotnik's evil laboratory, Sonic receives a message that out of his heroism, he is awarded a trip to the wonderful West Side Island, an island similar to South Island. All right exclaimed Sonic. This place looks to be a blast. I'll be there in a flash. Sure enough, he would be there in a flash. Whoa. He says in shock as his eyes are captivated by the scenery of the island. This place is amazing. I should probably make this my new home. He said. A while later, while Sonic was enjoying his luxurious stay, he all of a sudden comes to a screeching halt when he spotted a badnik. Yikes! Yelled Sonic in shock. A badnik? But how? He asked. So Sonic starts speeding around the island and discovers more badniks, old and new. This could only mean one thing! Exclaimed Sonic. Robotnik! Soon, Sonic stumbled upon Dr. Robotnik, who had brought along a buzz bomber with him. <laughs> if it isn't my old friend, Sonic. Laughed Robotnik. Robotnik! Exclaimed Sonic. I knew you'd be behind all this mess. What have you done to the island, you egg brain? Sonic asked demandingly. You see, Sonic. After my last setback in South Island, I ended up being stranded on this island. After some research, I discovered that the Seven Chaos Emeralds are somewhere on the island. Once I get a hold of the Emeralds, I will take over Mobis and the universe. Shouted the mad scientist. Buzz Bomber, attack! Yelled Robotnik. Sonic takes the killer robot on a wild chase. He soon spots a spring pad and bounces on it, knocking the circuits out of the buzz bomber, as well as a fluffy two-tailed fox. You okay, kid? Sonic asks. Yeah, I think so. The two-tailed fox replied. Robo Nick trapped me inside of the mechanized trash can, as well as the rest of Emerald Hill folks, and then sent a fake letter to you to snare and trap. The little fox warned him. Robotnik cowardly runs to his egomatic mech to make a getaway. Well, I mean, of course he would, he's a coward. Oh no, you don't, Jelly Belly! Sonic said. Well, Sonic got a few hits on Robotnik, it wasn't enough to stop him from getting away. Sonic! Shouted Tails. I'll help you! Stand back, I got this. Sonic replied. Robotnik won't be getting away this simple. Sonic bounces on the nearest spring to get to the Mad Doctor. Sonic manages to catch up to Dr. Robotnik. The two of them battle for a bit before Robotnik ejects Sonic into the sky. <laughs> Looks like I got the last laugh of this time. The emeralds are good as mine. Sonic lands back on the ground and he's feeling very weak. In the midst of all this chaos, Robotnik summons his Badnik army, Batbrains, Neutrons, Burrowbots, Splats, Orbanauts, and Motobugs. 
I've got to get Sonic some power rings to save him. Tails says worryingly. Tails fights off all the badniks with this spin dash technique that he came up with. Tails gets Sonic some power rings and regains full power. Thanks, little man. I saw how you trash can all those badniks. You did great, though no one can help you. Sonic whispered to himself. So what's your name, kid? Sonic asked. My name's Miles, but all my bullies call me Tails. Tails answered. I see why. You got two tails. Sonic pointed out. Yeah, and I can use them to fly. Tails said and starts flying around. Well, if I'm going to stop Ronut Nick, I'm going to need some help to get the emerald before he does. Would you help? Sonic asks. Sure. Tails said happily. So Sonic and Tails set out to track Robotnik, while freeing all the Emerald Hill folks and collecting all the Chaos Emeralds. So if it's me you want, it is me you'll get. Or should I say, it's you twerps I'll get. The maniacal scientist snickered evilly. Robotnik hops into his newly modified Egomatic mech. Here I come! As our heroes continue to search for Robotnik, they come across a dead end. Dang, we searched the whole Emerald Hill Zone for Robotnik and we can't find him anywhere. Uh, wait until I get my hands on that egg brain. But then, Sonic could hear a sudden rumble. It was none other than Robotnik! You getting your hands on me? More like me getting my hands on you, and the rest of the universe," said Robotnik, as Robotnik's army begins to surround the area. My advice? Just give up, Hedgehog. And maybe, just maybe, I'll spare your life and keep you prisoner. How about my advice, Doc? You give up and retire. And maybe, just maybe, I won't scramble your eggs and sausage into an omelet," said Sonic. Enough! demanded Robotnik. Sonic and Tails begin to take on the mad scientist. Tails even taught Sonic his spin dash technique. Sonic and Tails begin spin dashing all around Robotnik and his army of mechanized tin cans. Ah, those pests. No matter. I can still get them with my wrecking ball," said Robotnik. However, the Egomatic mech cannot take any more damage and begins to malfunction and explode. Blah! yelled Robotnik. You may win again this time, Sonic, but just wait till we meet again in the chemical plant. I'll get the emeralds before you do. You're not gonna get away with this said Robotnik. In your dreams, Robotnik. Me and Tails will be there to stop you faster than you can say Robotnik is bolder than a cue ball. Sonic snickered as he freed all the Emerald Hill folks. From this moment on, Sonic and Tails would work together to defeat Robotnik, save the animal folks, collecting all the Chaos Emeralds, and most importantly, defending their planet Mobius. The End